are we gonna tell our children? <laughs> like you can't tell 12 year olds that your parents been in jail. <laughs> So it's been our privilege to know Laura for about nine years. And did you all know that they met nine years ago tomorrow on June 15th? Yes, the anniversary of when they met. Most of the time when you say that, people are sort of impressed that it took nine years for them to finally get married. <laughs> For me, the amazing thing is, they did not meet earlier. We actually lived, Sam grew up less than three miles from where Laura grew up. And to have them not meet until they were each, when Sam, you were 20, Laura, you were 19 at the time. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive when you live three miles apart. So my friend Keith was trying to hook back up with my other friend Meredith. So he was like, and Meredith and I like traveled to the duo. So, um, so Keith like, Keith was like, I got a DD for you guys, just come. And the DD was actually Sam. <laughs> Their cosmic meeting at a summer party that moved quickly to the Hanover jail brings, is what brings us together today. Nobody was very rowdy. It was like, I had three beers the entire night over like four hours and then it was like, ugh. Well, the truth was, Sam was absolutely innocent. But this is the Hanover police, so it took them a long time to figure that out. And while they were figuring it out, Sam and Laura were sitting next to each other in the jail cell. And by the time they had figured it out, Sam was ready to plead guilty so he could continue to sit with Laura in the jail cell. And Again, this being the Hanover police, they didn't want any of that. So they made Sam leave. But they, the cops told me I had to call my parents and that's like the worst, you don't call the Frenchie. You do not call Ken French at 4 a.m. So that was like the worst thing. That's when I started crying. I was like, oh, I can't call my dad. Laura's in tears because she thinks I'm going to be angry. I see my good libertarian friend Cliff sitting here. Cliff knows I was angry, but not at Laura. But they tricked me and didn't let me know that I could be released into someone else's custody. I, I thought it was kind of adorable that she was like taking it really too so seriously because it was kind of like a minor drinking charge uh, that she got charged with. And she like, it was funny, she came, she came, when she got released, she came out and she was just like tears streaming down her face. I'll let Laura and Sam describe the injustice that was inflicted that night. But at least some good came. So I go down to the police station. I go in trying to figure out what do you do to get your daughter back. And as I go in to the lobby, this really large guy stands up, comes towering over me, and introduces himself as Sam Rigby. And at this point, he says, it was all a misunderstanding. So it's clear Laura has already gotten to Sam. And what, what I sincerely appreciated immediately was the fact that here was a guy who was going to stay there until he was sure that Laura was going to get home safe. Now think about that for a future son-in-law, not that I knew at the time, but it was very meaningful. No, so I, to be honest, no, I definitely did not uh, expect to be marrying someone that I got arrested with. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty clear after that that Sam was interested in me and I was just like, eh, okay, there's no one else this summer, <laughs> why not? <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, oh, I actually like him, he's a pretty cool guy. So Sam and Laura had known each other for a couple of months when Sam came home with the following announcement. Mom, Laura and I had a serious talk last night and we've decided to continue our relationship long distance. This news was delivered with the solemnity of a new love. 
This was the first glimmer that I had about how smart Laura French was. Because, because my son is sweet, kind, good, clever, and loving. And what a smart thing for someone to claim him. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is kind of like a cheesy answer, and I and I gave it in a video that I made for Laura's bachelorette party. But like, the question was, when did you know that Laura was the one? And I was kind of like, I, I honestly don't know. I like, I, I just don't really remember a time when I wasn't when I didn't feel that way. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not try, I'm not trying to like. <laughs> I'm trying to start crying and make myself start crying. Oh no. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I just don't really remember a time when I didn't think the world was My parents were out of town and Sam and I had agreed to house it for them. We've been dating forever and um, right at, especially towards the beginning when like he'd come over and like watch a movie and then he'd go back to his parents' house. Um, we'd always stop at, in the mudroom and there's two steps. I'd stand on the top step and he'd stand on the ground and then we'd be eye to eye because he's crazy tall. And then um, we'd always like just stand there and say goodbye and then like as you are when you're first dating it's like it takes forever to say goodbye. So um, so he pulled me over there and gave me a big hug and like held on longer and I was like, huh, what's this about? And he's like, these past nine, these past seven years have been so wonderful. I can't imagine my life without you and like blah. And then he got down on his knee and I was like, holy sh... Can I swear? <laughs> <laughs> and so the moment was a surprise. We had picked out a ring earlier, so and we had been together for seven and a half years at that point. So it wasn't like totally out of the blue. <laughs> I had hoped that there was something coming, um, but yeah, the moment was the moment was perfect, especially because like the worst part of Tuck was just over, and I felt so relaxed and it was so wonderful. And then we went and celebrated with our friends. We went and had a drink, and it was all planned. And I and we walked in and we we're like. I, we're, he just, I, this happened. You look beautiful. I don't want to touch you or tear anything up. Oh my god, you look great. Oh, you guys, oh my god. How are you guys doing? You're getting married. I'm getting married. Yay, I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The reason why we are all here, to witness and bless the marriage of Sam and Laura, as they pledge their lives and their hearts, their undying love and faithfulness to each other. Everything they have known and experienced has brought them to this moment. And everything that happens from here on out has its beginning right here. It's kind of like, we kind of blew it, our security clearance. I'm so She's like a I level two anyone. security clearance. <laughs> so where do I put this thing? How do you, I'm really surprised I haven't shown it. Okay, um, here's so. it. vow to help you love life and to embrace you as you are and be your greatest cheerleader in all our adventures to give you all that I am and all that I am to become I vow to try and make you laugh every day of our lives although I can't guarantee how good the jokes will be I vow to be honest and listen and to comfort you in times of sorrow, including rough basketball seasons and periods without internet access. I can't promise to fix all your problems, but I can promise you that you won't face them alone. Most importantly, I vow to love you and love you and love you. And most of the time, like you too, <laughs> because they're different. Our love will forever be the foundation that I build my life upon. And together, may we grow in the strength of our love. I vow to give you my heart today and every day till death do us part. And Sam, it's your turn to say your vows. Whew, okay. Uh, 
I come here today because I love you. And I like you too. And they're different. Uh, I, we've got the same jokes. Um, <laughs> uh, you are my best friend, and I'm thrilled to spend the rest of my life with you by my side, and I by yours. I vow to dance with you sometimes, though I'll never vow to match your energy when cutting it up. I will encourage your dreams and support your hopes. I vow to, to give you room to grow, and I will be here for you in whatever life brings. Our love and our bond will serve as the bedrock for our lives together. May our days continue to grow with love, understanding, and respect. I don't know what our future will hold, but I know that in it, my love for you will be unwavering. I give you my promise of patience, respect, and a measurable love for the rest of my life. You didn't need to bring the promise. That's cool. You have friends. You have your loved ones. And you have Craig and me who wish and pray that as there are no ends to rings, there will be no end to your marriage. Sam, would you take the proper ring and place it on Sarah's ring finger? I knew I was going to do this again and again. <laughs> this is not easy for me either. <laughs> I remember when this was a little girl named Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think she's changed it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a privilege for me to hold her on my lap and hold her tight and close. And if you've seen a little tear in my eye, along with the tears that Sam has shown, you can understand why. Laura, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, and with all that I am and all that I have. I honor and cherish you today and forever. place when um, I was three so we spent every summer here um, every we'd come up for Christmases we'd spend vacations here so I I really like grew up on this lake um, and then um, I was a camp counselor for the sister camp of the of Ohana um, the day camp horizons and so that's on this lake too and actually another counselor at, at horizons that I knew through that I um, got married at Ohana and I saw her pictures and I just fell in love with it and I was like this is we looked at other places but like I knew this was where we were getting married I just fit there's so much at the camp there's swimming and boating there's arts and crafts there's lawn games there's tennis there's basketball tetherball there's frisbee golf there's um, a story walk the giving tree story walk which is so cute that was one of the things that we loved about it it's like this is really a place where everyone can just come and have a great time it's not just it's not just about us having a good weekend, it's about everyone having a good weekend. Okay, that makes it easier. Uh, it just great. for these little signs that says 18. 18. Awesome. Thank, Thank you for here. all of your help. Oh you're welcome. <laughs> How's your day been? Great. Oh, How is yours? Fine, I've been relaxing. Great. Did you get to go on a run this morning? Yeah, I ran around the lake. Great. Awesome. So great. Which you guys have I held a little tennis clinic for awesome. Suzanne I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chilled. Chilled out. I thought it was so awesome. It was really nice. It was like Perfect. a really good nice. All the babies were down there. Yay. Yeah. Kind of fun. Oh, good. Were people yeah. able to like actually do the stand up paddle board? Yeah. 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 Stand up paddle board. Kayaking. Canoeing. Little swim up. It was what you wanted. Perfect. Perfect. It happened. Everyone's so The fact that we had it for a week. 
better because at weddings it's like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, 20 minutes you know, right. with talking to people, that's it. And you don't get to talk. And like last night we were able to meet people and see, you know, meet the other side of the families and stuff like that. Can you imagine? Where else from did you go yards? from other people's yards? You know, I mean, yeah. how cool is that that I'm out cutting wildflowers for a wedding? No, well, that's the barbecue before, but still, yeah. it's very cool. Yeah, so they picked all the flowers this morning, yeah. and then Betsy arranged all of these beautiful arrangements with for 25 tables, and she's about to do the mantle, right? Yes. <laughs> my team, yes. My team is confident. There's no question. We got to help assemble some of the things inside of this. Have you guys looked inside yet? No. There's like flashlights. Yeah, yeah. it's the real deal. And then what else is in here? And then cute little instructions. That's right. Have you read these yet, Abigail? No, but I'm sure they're perfect and awesome. Wow. Ice cream. It's good spot. It's a good spot. <laughs> yes, we all picked the berries because that was family reunion. Right. Um, Last July. And I helped with the place settings. Mm -hmm. She has little swags to put on the back of the chairs. She did the little uh, hearts over there. Right, yeah, I'm going to have to check all right. out. All right. Well, I'm awesome. excited. And the hearts. Yeah? Thank you for punching those. How were the wrists those? the next day? They were, they were good. Yeah, Ann and I sat and made, Ann was the puncher. We had a, like what a cutout thing. And then we were trying to like pick colors and I was like, I don't want to pick colors, I want them all. <laughs> so that kind of just like evolved. Yeah. I remember telling you, you're like, so what is this going to be? I was like, um, rainbows confetti. And you're like, <laughs> like okay. I was just sort of like, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait and see. Yeah. I saw something on Pinterest, I don't know. But and then I saw the party hats separate. The party hats were like on oh, these cupcakes, and I was like, those are perfect. So now we have party animals. <laughs> In addition to everything else. I know. I don't know. Crazy. I did this, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just saw a lot of cards that were fun for him, and then I wrote him a letter. But the cards were, I'll show you one card that I made that I'm really excited you about. You made that? Yeah, I made this. I, I love made this. So my inside it says true story. <laughs> Just back and forth. Yeah. There's no, yeah, no, no downtime. <laughs> this is really going to bring it out. We did crap. Romance. All right, so what is our move what's here? Our, what's our play? Did Beth go to get the other Yeah, place? Beth is um, we'll find poking Beth. around. These are two of my friends from talking. They've been like <laughs> with me as so I'm like, I have. 50 more party hats to make. <laughs> They're like, you're insane. How many insane. Blues did you go through? How many, How many blues did you go through oh. this process? Um, I think like 40. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, 40. In, you're in this. Yeah. Read the notes, you look at the thing, and then we'll start handing out gifts. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. This is like way too much stuff. Is it though? Do you really feel that way? <laughs> It says <laughs> me and you, ketchup and mustard, and I just, uh, there was there was a lengthy period of time in which I ate ketchup on literally everything. It only stopped, uh, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago. They're all relating to the card. This one is Sri Racha, you're hot. <laughs> True story. <laughs> 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 Uh oh! <laughs> it's hard to explain. We've had to read the rules like four times, but we figured it out. Coop. K U U B. You got it back here. Yeah! Isn't that great? I think that's one of my favorite things I've ever seen. How was that note? Yeah, it looked like it was a roller coaster. I want to take this out. This is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Is it okay for here for yeah, this? Yes, okay. oh. Those are really cool. Oh, they're gigantic. Those are beautiful. Match your face. They match my ring. <laughs> I would have had like four options for you. Those earrings are gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. God, he's good. Whoa. It's the necklace of the same thing. Oh, that's beautiful. Holy shit. Yeah. You're like dripping now. Oh man. <laughs> I got I got some speakers. Yeah. <laughs> I did not spend enough money on him. Uh, oh, but this is actually really cute. Um, so I instead of Tom's I put Sam's on the back. <laughs> of course I did. Oh, hey, of course you did. Of course you did. Personalize your wedding shoes. Well, I'm like this. We're looking at our wedding shoes. How awesome is that? Oh my god, those are awesome. And she oh put Sam instead of Tom. That's really cute. Cool. <laughs>
You know, if there's a crisis, together they'll take care of it. You know, they've gone through earthquakes, they've gone through, you know, sickness, they've gone through happiness, they've gone through everything. I mean, well, in nine years. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and and they're still together and they're still so happy to be with each other. You know, so that's, you know, you sort of look at it from the mum point and you don't have any worries. Um, as you can see from the flags out front, few people over the past nine years have done so much. And when you travel like that, you spend a lot of time growing, involving, and changing personally. And I think it's a testament to the relationship that they were able to do all those things together. I could stand up here and make embarrassing disclosures about Sam, like he owns more shoes than any human I know, male or female. Uh, he has a borderline unhealthy obsession with ketchup and a definitively unhealthy uh, obsession with ice cream. Uh, but I'll just say that I know I can speak for everyone in the room uh, when I say I'm so happy that you two have found each other. Um, both of you bring light everywhere, and now you're one big gold heart. We love you guys, and that's why we're here. And we're looking forward to seeing where you end up, and we'll be there. We have one last thank you, the, uh, and that is to someone named Mike Chin, and a few of the Hanover folks might know who he is, but who he is in the context of this story is that uh, the Hanover police had seen his car driving around and he was kind of a, a hoodlum, and they followed his car to the party we were at, and that's how we got arrested. So thank you to Mike Chin, wherever he is. One small story of Sam to end with. When Sam was a little guy, he asked a lot of questions for a five-year-old. What does it mean if the dawn breaks? What does it feel like when the dawn breaks? And that's a hard question to answer, but it's this. Sam and Laura, your dawn is breaking. So Godspeed and sweet dreams. A few months ago, I was cross-country skiing on a place called Mimi's Trail, which is across, it takes you through the woods, and all of a sudden you end up at this place that's got this great vista, and I got there at dusk, and I saw the sun setting, and all of a sudden I realized that I was looking to where Camp Ohana was. And I was thinking about that, and right then I felt the wind blow in my face. As the wind blew in my face, I thought about us, what would it be like to actually be here? Apparently the Hebrew word for wind is ruah, which is spirit. So I feel like I've been given a wonderful spirit, a wonderful memory at that moment. And the one thing I just hope for Sam and Laura is that you have the kind of memories in your life going forward that you've given us. Thank you so much.